Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This may seem familiar, I've already done this before, but this is an updated list as I decided to look through some of the newer cards coming out, some ideas to help improve the deck, especially after the ban list. And while, yes, many decks were hit on that ban list, Sky, uh, Sky Striker, Salmon Great, and many more, but the point is, Salmon Great is basically the symbol of me on this channel. It's my favorite deck to go over, and by all means, if you guys want me to do an updated list with every deck that got hit, I can try to do so, but I felt like with Salomon Great, it would be a good refresher to come back and look through the comments and try and improve what uh, what we had, so it'd be a little bit more competitive and still a lot of fun to play. So let's go ahead and get started. For right now, we're running 1v Bison. Uh, he's, again, just meant for a huge amount of negating, but I only run one of these compared to maybe two or three, so that way if I start my hand off with one, it wouldn't be as bad comparing it with two, where I would have to brick and pray that the three other cards are helpful. Uh, two Jack Jaguars and two Fowls, just meant for the uh, Special Summon and for turning for um, Sunlight Wolf. Uh, we are running one Falco, just to help us get our spells back. Unfortunately, one Gazelle, or rather one three. Uh, three Widgekids, just to help us with more Special Summoning for a Cyburst type. Uh, same with Backup Sector, this is just to help us get more Special Summoning done, and of course, being a level three, that's just going to help us get our uh, XYZ right out. Of course, three Spinnies and three Foxies helping search for more Salomon Great cards, and helping us get more uh, level 3s on the field just for linking or XYZ. Uh, Crusader Reclusa. Uh, this is in the Guard Dragon video, and I put this in here because of its effect of being able to special summon itself right um, where I link monster points to, and if I really abs if I absolutely need it, I can use his effect to destroy himself and destroy one card uh, my opponent controls. Um, next we're running two Raccoons just for uh, more life points, and of course one mole, just for more special summoning, uh, and of course graveyard effect. Uh, next, two, it, it, of course I've been over this, so it's probably not a whole bunch of difference, but you'll you'll notice I have cards in the sideboard now, which I'll be going over in a minute. Uh, we're running two fusion fires to help us with getting the fusion monster out, three sign up minings just to help us search for these for more of the cards. If you want, you can get rid of your Reclusa and add Gazelle, uh, Backup, Widget, wh whoever you need. Uh, two Salmon Great Recurrences to help us get our cards from the graveyard back in, and then of course, if it's destroyed, I can just set a spell or trap from the deck to hand. Uh, one Circle, one Will, one Claw, and then one Sanctuary. I kind of realized what you guys were saying about, um, instead of running two, I should try one run. Um, I'm just gonna have to hope that my opponent doesn't use Call by the Grave to completely remove Sanctuary or Gazelle or Circle if, um, if they had it. Uh, next, we're running two Rage. Uh, after all the hits, I feel like Rage would have been a great add for removal, and that's kind of what I noticed my deck was lacking. It, it had firepower, but it had less removal. So we have two Rage and then two Roars. However you would like, you can ha you can run three Rage and one Roar, or uh, three Roar and one Rage. It's multi ultimately up to you. Running two Fu two Chimeras, two Mystalios, three Pyro Phoenix, which you can reduce to two, and you can run an extra XYZ or... Uh, another Valix if you wish, but I, I prefer the three just because I've been really wishing for this card to come out soon. Can't wait to put it in my actual deck. Uh, three Heat Leos, three Sunlight Wolves, and two Valix. Now for the sideboard. You, some of you guys may not agree with these cards, but I have reasons uh, for them. This, these are just ideas that you could put in if you really wish. Uh, new cards that are coming out are Process Layers, which those are a whole new uh, Cybers archetype, which I plan to look into once I can. But what I noticed is Process Slayer Adion and Process Slayer Subtra both have the same effect where you can target one face on monster field, you can have special monsters from the extra decks for the turn except Cyburst monsters, then you special summon these cards. Adion lets the monster gain 1,000 attack while Subtra removes 1,000 attack for the creature. You can run both if you want, but you're probably not going to run three within this deck, mostly because they're level fours. If they were level threes, these, this would be perfect add-ons to the deck, no doubt. Next one, I'm not sure how you guys are going to feel about this one, but there's a reason why, and that's Marauding Captain. Well, he's not a Cyburst nor Fire, his effect to allow you to special summon a level 4 lower monster from your hand can be really helpful as you can get out any of the other level 3s. If you're focusing on building a deck with just level 3s and then using Mastalio for the rest, Marauding Captain could be very helpful, but is he the best add-on to your deck? No. Yeah, Widget Kid is the better version of him. As you can special one cyber monster from your hand in defense position, but you can choose any cyber. So if I have a B Bison, Jack, or Fowl, and nothing else, I can just use Widget Kid. Well, this one is only level four, and while yeah, I can get Jack or Fowl, I would not be able to get B Bison. So 
Uh, in, in short, I believe Widget Kid would be more helpful versus Marauding Captain, but if you would like, Marauding Captain could be more useful on top. But the other reason why he's not in the regular board is because he has to be normal summon for that effect to take place. So anyways, you guys seen the deck uh, battle before, but let's see how it works now that we're only one gazelle, one circle, and of course all the other changes. Let's see what we get here. That's not too bad of a hand, I can work with that. Okay, so this is, um, my opponent's not running too good of a deck, so let's get rid of her Cthusa, because I'm not really going to need it. I'll just go ahead and get Gazelle, of course. Let's see how we want to do this. We can do, yeah, let's do Widget Kid, which gets effect to get a backup secretary. Backup secretary is special summon itself. We can go ahead and get Balix. Use Balix effect for Sanctuary. Sanctuary's effect. Then we get Mystalia. I can make Mystalia's effect, put that into the graveyard to get uh, Jack Jaguar. Set Roar. Then we're going to get out Sunlight Wolf by using both Balix and Jack Jaguar. Then we can activate Gazelle's effect, put Gazelle onto the field. I would like to use Gazelle's effect. Since we already have Roar, we're not going to really need too much in. Uh, yeah, let's try to go for Fusion Fire. So I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Uh, I did not realize that. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put him back. Come on. Yeah, activate Wolf. Get Reclusia back. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, why not? I, I have the card there. Then we'll do Jack, because we can just get Jack back again. Hmm. No. Let's... Just go ahead and get another Fire Phoenix out, for why not. Yep, and destroy it. Was it expensive? Yes, but was it fun to use? Yes. I I particularly like Power Phoenix, but sadly he didn't get his um, old effect where if you were his old effect where you could special summon it. Oh, uh no. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh his old effect where you can when you special summon a Oh, there we go. I, I can't think. I'm just thinking about the battle right now. When you can, when you special summon your opponent's Link Monster, it would have zero attack versus now it just special summons it and then deals damage. Which I get why they did that. Of course, it's that's probably way too powerful. But in the end, I would love to see how that would have played out. Uh, yeah. Let's go, Gazelle. Gazelle's effect. Now we can send Falco to the grave. Use Falco's effect to get our fusion fire right back. Then we can use Sunlight Wolf, right? Actually, I might want to get Heat Lake, huh? But we can use. Well, if you're in the grave for Sunlight Wolf to get back up for us. Because I believe it's only Salomon Great that he gets back. Alright, I'm just making sure. I want Fire Monster from Graveyard, okay. Yeah, we could just get Jack, but that's really just about it. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get our... That's right. Let's go ahead and just get our Heat Leo. Like the Heat Leo's effect, get rid of that face down. Then we're just gonna put him off and do again. Yeah, let's go and get Aurora back. Special Summon Reclusia. Yeah, let's go ahead and use effect, destroy him, and destroy that. I'm gonna battle phase and attack. Yep. I still miss the old effect where I would just be able to get my fusion monster out just instantly. Uh, roar. Let's see if we can get our fusion monster out. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Oh, that's right, we can. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do multiple. If we're if we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and put him into the worst situation possible, we we have the time to do so. <laughs> oh, this is great. I I absolutely love playing like this. Our gazelle, where is Beat Bison? There he is. Oh boy. Let's see. What's our lowest attack right now? I think it's. Oh no, it's a uh, it's Lucia now. That's another benefit I forgot to list off. Is that Reclusia 
allows is 400 attack, which is the same as um, Raccoon. So if absolutely needed, you can use uh, Helio and Reclusia to help reduce your opponent's monster's attack to absolutely abysmal uh, numbers. Let's go ahead and just... And... Even though it's absolutely not needed, let's just go ahead and get that massive attack. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. I'm not going to do another one. You guys already know how the deck works, but... Long story short, the deck is still not dead. It's... Is it a little more difficult to play? Yeah. Having three Gazelle would have been perfect, or three Circles. Most likely, probably Circle, if I'm being honest, because Gazelle, yeah, you can put it into the graveyard, but with Circle, you could search anything you need, including Gazelle. But... Either way, that's the video for tonight. It's not its not going to be a long one, of course. It's, it's a review. It's a new one. But leave comments down below how you guys think of it. And um, by all means, tell me what you guys would add into the deck. Because I'm, I'm still looking for great, for better special summons. And I might remove Reclusia just because it does take a little bit to do. But I love the removal effect of that card. Um, you guys have a great day. And leave comments down down what you would like to see for another deck profile. We had one submitted to us. However... Um, the issue with me trying to make the deck is that I still need to wait for Nexus to add Dragon Mates into the system. Once they put Dragon Mates in, just like they did Process Slayers, and um, I believe they're getting the new Salamagrade XYZ out that's level 4, which I can do a little info about that if you guys want to see it, but uh, in my opinion it's not as good as um, Mystalia. But no matter. You guys have a great day, leave suggestions down what you make to the deck, and leave uh, suggestions on what you want me to build next. You guys have a great day. Goodbye.